Hi there, this is uh, Ken, and we, we have another problem here. A one metric ton of copper converted to black atoms of copper. So we'll be expecting here a very huge number of atoms, because we're trying to find out the number of atoms in a one metric ton of copper, and that's a, that's a very heavy amount of copper, and a huge amount of copper. So we need to convert, uh, we need to have the convert tons, the one metric ton, uh, it means uh, 1,000 kilograms. And one kilogram is equivalent to 1,000 grams. We're going in this direction having grams because the atomic weights are based on grams. So one mole of copper and looking at your periodic table is equivalent to the atomic weight of the element copper and we have there 63.54 grams of copper but also one mole of copper is equivalent to the Avogadro's number which tells us the number of atoms or molecules if it is a compound so we have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power atoms of copper. So using this information, we can solve our problem. And it would just go like this. 1 m ton of copper. We multiply it by the first conversion factor and M10 has to cancel out one metric ton equivalent to 1,000 kilogram in the numerator, and so M10 in the denominator would have to cancel out. We need to convert this to grams. And one kilogram is equivalent to 1,000 grams, so kilogram would have to cancel out, and now from here we need to convert it into moles and 63.54 grams of copper is equivalent to one mole of copper so gram would have to cancel out so we have now the units in moles of copper and one mole of copper is equivalent to 6.5 Zero two two times ten to the twenty third atoms of copper. That's a huge number. So mole units would have to cancel out, so what would be left would be atoms, our unit that we desire, and doing all the math there we would get a number like this big, nine point forty eight times ten to the 27th power atoms of copper. And that's our answer.